lately life has been, for lack of a better word, lifing. I'm not sure how many of you guys know this on this channel, but uh, I'm a senior and I'm going to be graduating college next year in May. And so it's about that time where I need to be, you know, kicking it into high gear, making sure that I'm job searching, um, especially within this economy. You know, there's um, a lot of layoffs and a lot of return offers being, you know, revoked. And so uh, I need to make sure that I'm trying to secure a job offer early and, you know, basically secure my financial future. So um, I've been, you know, super busy with that, uh, along with, you know, just trying to get through these last two semesters, of course, uh, with, you know, all these exams I have coming up, all these group projects, um, just, you know, college life in general. And then obviously, you know, trying to also stay on top of my social life, making sure that I'm getting out and, you know, meeting new people, um, impacting as many people as I can, and, you know, staying connected with those friends that I already have as well. I recently came back from a company visit and on the last day of the company visit, I found out that my grandma had passed. She'd been, you know, sick for a few weeks and um, it was just, it was surreal because, you know, being so close to being finished with school, um, it, it was really hard, you know, hearing that. And it was, you know, I had always dreamed of, you know, her watching me walk the stage and, you know, us having a big celebration because when I was in high school, um, you know, when I graduated from high school, it was during COVID and we didn't really get to have, you know, a big party and big parties are kind of a thing in my family. So I was super excited about that. And I didn't really get to have that chance. And now I won't get to, you know, share that, that second special moment with her. And, you know, it hurts knowing that she's gone. Um, she's been gone for about two weeks now. And um, I feel like I've cried enough that I've, you know, finally started to make peace with it. And as you guys can see, my, my uh, mental health has suffered. You guys can see my room is a complete mess. I've just been really neglecting taking care of myself and my space, you know, over the past um, two weeks, basically. I've been so busy with, um, you know, group projects. I had two exams, um, grieving the loss of my grandmother, uh, going to my, going to her funeral, going to company of visits, you know, interviewing with different companies and um, just trying to stay afloat for these last two semesters financially. Um, <clears throat> man, it's, it's, there's been so much that's been going on in these past two weeks that I just haven't really had the time to take care of myself, really get my life together and everything. And so, um, you know, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, just trying to get back on track and, um, you know, reset. I think it's only right that we start with the stuff that's on the floor. So um, most of it is closed. I'm going to go ahead and just put it all in the laundry because I need to do laundry anyways. You guys should see my laundry basket. It's full as it's, it's so full. Next order of business is the bed just because a healthy bed and a clean bed really just completely changes the mood and the view of the room. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I think the next order of business should be my shoes just because I've got so many all over the floor. My dailies got real dirty at some point and now I can't clean them because I don't have any sneaker cleaner with me. I swear every time I tell myself I'm not going to need this, I'm not going to need that. Whenever I'm packing for college, I end up needing it two days later, three days later. So I'm probably going to go buy some in the next couple of days. We'll see if we can get it done in this vlog. I do have a lot to do today though. So we're going to continue to clean the room. Um, it's starting to look better as y'all can see. Bed is made. I have space to actually walk now. So that's good. Um, definitely going to take care of this trash. If y'all ever come down to Houston, make sure you come down to the burger joint. Definitely one of the best burger spots in Houston. Um, just going to continue to take care of this trash. I got too much trash on the floor. 
and I got to take care of this stuff right here. This is all stuff from my career fair. So I've had two career fairs in the past two weeks. And if y'all don't know what a career fair is, you probably aren't in college. But even if you are in college, you might not know. So basically what it is, is you go, a bunch of companies come out and you go and talk to recruiters, basically try to get internships and jobs. And you do a lot of networking and stuff. So you got to, you know, dress up in suits and whatnot. This is my suit cover. It's laying on the floor. Um, probably not a good idea, but I got my suit here from the last career fair that I just went to yesterday. Then I have my other one sitting over there um, from last week's career fair. So I got to put them back in the suit cover and put them up until the next time I go to a career fair. Okay, I'm going to be 100% real and raw with you guys. I have not been taking care of my dishes either. Y'all can see dishes all up on, like literally everywhere in this room. Bro. It's so nasty. This is the most disgusting like situation i've ever lived in this is kind of wild not gonna lie but it's okay this is all gonna get taken care of right now I just wanna know if you my friend. I just wanna know if you all right, so the room is pretty clean now and I got all my laundry going. Um, it's running in the machine in the washing room right now. So my next order of business is probably going to be responding to emails, reaching out to recruiters, making sure that I'm taking care of my, uh, you know, all of my job searching duties because I just went to a career fair yesterday. So I got to make sure I follow up with them, follow up on some other applications I've been sending in, follow up on some interviews and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, and I'm sure some of y'all might have been asking about what is on my wall. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all real quick. Some of y'all might know who this, what this is. Uh, if y'all are car people, this is a piece of my exhaust. And let me, uh, let me explain to y'all why it's there. <laughs> so basically, um, I got my exhaust sitting here in my room because, you know, I've been doing a little bit of retail therapy and, uh, I've been, you know, you, you guys know I bought a new car. I've been modding it a little bit here and there. Uh, I'm not trying to go too crazy just cause you know, I got, I got to make sure I save money for graduation, save money to get me by through this year and everything. So uh, I've been buying stuff here and there, but I found an exhaust on Facebook, I think like a week ago or so, uh, at this point and it was a really really good price brand new it's going for like 400 and i was able to get it for 180 bucks and then i went and got it installed you know when i took the old one off i wanted to keep the old one you know in case i sell the car i'm able to put it back on a lot of the pieces i was able to keep in the trunk of my car this piece did not fit in the trunk it didn't fit in the back seat it's sitting here in my room until i go home so when i go home i'm going to take everything you know i'm going to leave my old exhaust at home um and i will you know come back with my new I mean my new one's already on the car um I'll probably put a clip in here or there but I'm gonna upload the exhaust the entire exhaust video on my car channel so if you guys want to see that check it out it will be down below you know I got a shower wash my hair, make sure I'm uh, cleaning myself up. But I've been kind of neglecting washing my hair um, just cause the more I wash my hair, the frizzier it gets at the top. And when it gets frizzy, uh, it's harder to put in styles. Like it's harder to put back, you know, like in ponytails and stuff. So I've been leaving it like that. That way I can put it, um, have it back for like career fairs and stuff. But now I gotta actually wash it. I gotta make sure I'm taking care of it. Um, cause my scalp doctor is gonna get mad at me if I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, um, I got a timer on for my shampoo. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, start reaching out to people. So I'm all done now talking to recruiters, following up on emails and interviews and whatnot. So I've got a little bit of downtime. Uh, my clothes are in the dryer now. So I've got about 45 minutes. I'm going to work on a poster um, for a photo shoot that I'm doing with one of my friends later on today. Um, I'll see if I can get some vlog footage of that probably gonna shoot on this camera So we may or may not get some vlog footage, but I will um, If I do get the pictures edited before this video goes up, then I'll put them uh, up on the screen and of course Instagram down below they're gonna be on my Instagram, of course um, So right now I'm just gonna work on that and the next plan is to go out and get some sun go out in nature I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, this park. That's about 10 minutes up the road I love going there and just people watching and just vibing 
This is always my least favorite part about doing laundry. Putting everything away. I got me some Love Panda Express from our delivery robots on campus. Came in clutch because the dining hall next to my dorm closes at three on Fridays. It is 2.54. Went ahead and got a delivery robot because Walking all the way to the other dining hall, I, I was not doing that. Chow mein and orange chicken, my go-to from Panda Express. I'm gonna eat this and then go ahead and head to the park. All right, y'all, so I'm in the car now. Uh, I got all the windows down so y'all can hear the exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for y'all. Hopefully I will be able to hear it. I love the sound of that. Uh, it's really hot outside, so I probably won't spend too much time at the park. I usually prefer to go to the park later on in the day around like six or seven when it's less hot but because i have stuff to do later on today i decided i should probably just get it you know um just get my time in whenever i can right oh, yeah yeah sometimes we laugh sometimes we cry but i guess you know now baby so i'm out here at the park now um i really love coming out here uh, I come out here a lot. I've been out here maybe two or three times this week already, but um, I just love You know when I'm going through tough times when I'm going through a rut even if I'm not going through a tough time I think it's really important to get out and be connected to nature um, That was something I was a little bit scared of you know coming to Houston for the first time because uh, I'm from an area where it's uh, pretty suburban, but there's also a lot of areas that you, you know you have access to nature and everything so um you know uh coming to houston being largely largely you know city i was like uh i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find places where i'll be able to just like chill and you know connect with nature and just sit outside and think and people watch and um this park is conveniently close to campus so i love coming out here and you know just um thinking about just life in general I think about a lot of different things uh, whether it's you know um, what I what my future plans are you know whether I want to come out here and journal or just think about specific events that have happened recently so um, you know it's, it's a great spot to be uh, and people are super friendly out here people are always taking pictures and you know uh, people bring their babies out people come and run and so uh, it's just a really nice place to be overall So I am back now. Y'all yeah, can tell I'm very hot and sweaty. Um, like I said, it's real hot outside. I do have a little bit of other stuff planned. It's 5.30, so I'm gonna go grab some dinner with some of my friends. I'm gonna shower really quick first and then go grab dinner with some of my friends. Um, and then we're gonna, me and my friends are gonna, you know, do the little photo shoot I told you guys about earlier. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, uh, really touch on um, just kind of the point of this video. I really wanted to make this video to kind of, um, you know, show that we're human, you know, I'm human. Um, although, you know, sometimes my life seems super great. Like I always buy cool shoes and cool cars and like super expensive stuff and, you know, um, all that kind of stuff. But let me grab a water, man. I'm so, oh. 
All right, but as I was saying, um, you know, I, although my life seems super great and, you know, um, like it looks like I'm always having fun, uh, I do go through ebbs and flows of life too. I like, I have some high highs and I have some pretty low lows. And, you know, this just happened to be one of them. And uh, I was, you know, I'm happy to be able to take you guys along with me to kind of like um, work myself out of that low. Um, you guys really didn't really see the bulk of it. Um, but you guys are seeing me kind of launch myself out of it. So I'm hoping that, you know, whoever else out there is going through um, whatever else you're going through, whether you may be dealing with a loss like me or maybe you're, you know, super busy with school. You feel like you don't have time to take care of yourself or whatever it is that you're going through in life right now. Uh, I just really hope that this video can, you know, inspire you and, um, you know, help you in any way. Um, you know, if there's anything else that I can do for you, um, if you need to talk to anybody, uh, my Instagram is, it might be on the bottom of the screen. If not, it's going to be in the description of the video. So, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always glad to help anybody. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. So if you guys enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.